Item number SCP-324 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures While SCP-324 does not require efforts beyond basic botanical maintenance to thrive, access to its products are to be strictly controlled to prevent theft and possible uncontrolled cultivation. SCP-324 is to be contained within a secure solarium or equivalent agricultural facility in a minimum of 5 cubic meters of soil. Soil should be maintained at a consistent pH of between 4 and 4.5, with a minimum 12% humus, or similar organic compound, component to topsoil. A misting system or other remote means of watering should be implemented to minimize the number of staff with access to SCP-324. SCP-324 is currently held at Site-23, Solarium-16, Bay-194, under these conditions. As on-site staff already have access to specialized botanical testing equipment and methodologies via the containment of SCP-38, transfer of SCP-324 to another facility is subject to Level 4 approval. Products of SCP-324, designated SCP-3241, may be transferred between research staff as necessary, with Level 3 approval. To maintain SCP-324 as the only mature specimen during initial research, attempts to cultivate further specimens from SCP-3241 off-site are currently suspended. Description: SCP-324 is a small evergreen shrub, currently 1.4 meters in height, and possessing a complex root system that extends approximately 2.5 meters below the soil. Leaves are lanceolate ranging between 4 and 6 centimeters in width. During the flowering phase, SCP-324 produces small, 14 to 22 millimeters, white flowers with 9 petals. Berries produced by SCP-324 are designated SCP-3241 and appear pinkish-white in color, with diameters between 9 and 14 millimeters. Berries are edible, with flavor reported as tart and mildly sweet. SCP-324's flowering and berry-producing phase are apparently only initiated by the introduction of a deceased mammal of at least 25 kilograms into its soil. The mammal must be within range of SCP-324's root system and been deceased no longer than three days at the time of its first contact with SCP-324. If these conditions are met, the flowering phase will begin within 16 hours of introduction with mature flowers in SCP-3241 appearing within 75 hours. When eaten, each individual sample of SCP-3241 will produce a vivid sensory experience, reenacting a seemingly random memory of the deceased mammal's life in the consumer of SCP-3241. In tests with human cadavers buried in SCP-324's soil, consumers of SCP-3241 report clear oral and visual impressions including specific locations, conversations, and individuals. The consumer of SCP-3241 appears to experience the deceased's memory as if it were one of their own, but recognizes it as a product of another mind. In tests featuring animal cadavers, consumers of SCP-3241 report an overwhelming jumble of sensory input, devoid of the usual narrative context produced by human thought. Each experience lasts between two and four minutes before it subsides. If multiple samples of SCP-3241 are ingested at one time, memories experienced proceed one at a time, each with the same two to four minute window. SCP-324 produces SCP-3241 for approximately one week, regardless of the type or mass of the deceased mammal introduced into its soil. After this period has elapsed, all samples of SCP-3241 wither and become inert until another deceased mammal is accessed by the root system. Animals incapable of creating memories or lacking memories of their own, such as subjects of SCP-909, likewise produce inert samples of SCP-3241. Discovery SCP-324 was discovered in a small cemetery specializing in natural, coffinless and non-preservational burial in rural county, New Hampshire. The groundskeeper, a Mr. Declan, 
would regularly transplant SCP-324 to the graves of the newly deceased and invite surviving family members to partake of SCP-3241 for a substantial fee. The scheme was discovered inadvertently when Agent attended services at the cemetery for his deceased relative. Upon a demonstration of SCP-3241's effects, Agent immediately took both Mr. Declan, assigned D-Class, and SCP-324 into Foundation custody. Mr. Declan claimed the shrub had been on the grounds when they were purchased in 19 and knew nothing further of its origins. Addendum Experiment Logs 324-42.4 through 324-45.2 SCP-3241 Consumer Male D-Class Number 67531 Age 56 Soil Input Human Female Aged 34 at TOD. Deceased two days. Experience Report D-67531 placid for duration of experience. Recounts an afternoon picnic from the perspective of a small female child, including impressions of flying a kite and eating a celery stalk with peanut butter and raisins. SCP-3241 Consumer Female D-Class Number 58563 Age 34 Soil Input Chimpanzee Female Aged 44 at TOD Deceased 3 days Experience Report D-58563 thrashes wildly for the duration of the experience, making gestures as if to ward off an attacker. Recounts impression of being assaulted by multiple individuals, uttering high-pitched squeals. SCP-3241 Consumer Male D-Class Number 69965 Age 22 Soil Input Human Female Aged 93 at TOD Deceased 2 days Experience Report D-69965 Uncooperative Restraints Employed D-69965 Force-Fed SCP-3241 continues thrashing for 43 seconds before abruptly relaxing. Eyes glazed for duration of experience. D-69965 drools slightly, recounts staring out a window from a wheelchair at a busy urban street, sprinklers occasionally splashing the window. SCP-3241 Consumer Female D-Class Number 39395 Age 42 Soil Input Dolphin Male Aged 19 at TOD Deceased one day Experience Report D-39395 holds breath for duration of experience Passes out at 97 seconds Revived Recounts impressions of swimming Darkness Pressure Claims to distinctly recall speaking to another individual But cannot remember content of conversation Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-323, Wendigo Skull, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.